Later this week, restaurants in the state can begin seating people inside at a limited capacity and outside for patio seating. A popular downtown Lexington restaurant is prepared and eager for the changes. Angie Bevan has more from Carson's Food and Drink in tonight's We're Open Kentucky. The restaurant business isn't a one-size-fits-all model, but it can boil down to some pretty simple ideas. You can go to a restaurant and have great food and great service and uh, great cocktails or what have you, but the reality of it is it's the people that make the energy in a restaurant work so well. Carson's food and drink owner Mark Fitchner has decades behind him in the restaurant business. Carson's has been open for about three and a half years. We are what we call elevated American, from steaks to seafood to pasta to salads to um, seared ahi tuna, you name it, we have it. He says he loves being part of the Lexington restaurant scene, and he knew Carson's needed to stand out. Here, I wanted to fit a niche that you could come as you are, you know, after a workout or, you know, uh, on a date or whatever, and the building transitions really nicely from casual to elegant in the evening. For the last two months, that energy that people bring wasn't there. Fitchner was able to keep staff on, paying them and paying tips. Friday, they can open up at 33% capacity inside and seat tables six feet apart outside. Takeout's been okay. I mean, we're still losing money, uh, but uh, hopefully with this opening up of the 33% uh, capacity plus uh, the patio and outside, uh, we should do okay. Eager to welcome people back inside, but Carson's will still do curbside takeout, offer the family dinners for four to six people, and offer steaks ready to grill called Carson's Cuts. The popular brunch and a new wine and cocktail list will be waiting for the weekend. Carson's really thrives on the, on the guests, and we have such amazing people that come in here, and that just creates that energy in here. In Lexington, Angie Bevan, LEX 18 News.